And this is the second part of the first video that we did. We had to pause. And if you watch that end of that video, you saw that there was some knocks. Oh, I got that slide. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to get them. It was bothering me. There were some knots in the tray, in the tray, in the thread. Okay, come on, David, wake up. And then it was uh, preventing the stitching from being very, very nice. So I did not want to cut and paste the video. I want you guys to see and to understand that it's okay for a brand new machine to be out of timing. It's very, very normal. And out of timing could be loopers, could be thread, could be lots of things. So in our case, it was the thread that they had nuts in it and we took the nuts out. But then when we were sewing, this was before, see how beautiful that was? Three needle, five thread top and bottom. But when I started to sew again, you see what we got? You see? You see that? Skipping, it's called skipping. And then the thread board is all one reason. Threading was not right. I mean, there was problem in the thread, not in the thread. I stopped and then we threaded. And here, this is the, what is happening right now. And I'm gonna sew, I'm gonna see. Whenever you see there is a problem with any of the thread, all you have to do make sure that, like by us, we have five threads, five different colors. That's why we do it this way, to see color coded so we know which one has a problem. So right now, the top, like it sewed nice for like 10 inches and then skipped the top. Even though we really don't use the top stitching. Usually we don't, nobody almost does the top stitching. But I wanted to make sure it's, it's working. So this is the top stitching right here. There is one tension here and there is another tension here. Could be any of these things, you gotta play with them and make sure you get the, the correct, um, correct result. So now, this is the main, main uh, fabric that people use and it's a needed fabric. Like you use for shed, you use for um, active bird. I'm not a good sewer, I'm just wanna show you guys. Here you go. This is the result of adjusting the thread and tightening the tension Beautiful top and bottom. Look at this beautiful bottom. Now, it all depends what, of, what type of fabric you use, what type of thread you use. It all depends. Whenever you get a sewing machine, you have to adjust it to your preferences, to your fabric, to your type of thread, okay? Uh, great machine, oil in here. If you wanna know this oil reservoir is a silicone oil. You could put silicone oil in there, so when the thread goes through, you have a great result for fast, like people around sewing very fast. But the main reason of this video was to show you the fully submerged part of this machine. But I went out and I did it. Needle is also a, a big, 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 uh, uh, big work. Um, problem sometimes. You gotta make sure the needle is the correct size. Um, size nine, like for some stuff like this, you see the sheer material, 12, 
for this tough side, 9, 12. A great, great sewing machine overall, made by Juki, 7923, cylinder bed, three needle, five thread, top and bottom stitch, on a T-leg. Uh, we had many videos on this, but I felt comfortable making another video because this being fully summer. So if you wanted to have this, like going on a, uh, let's say, legging, imagine, and I'm being very messy here today. So it would be like going around, like you would have this, I'm sorry, and then move the legging around and show inside, outside. Anyway, beautiful, another beautiful sewing machine. Thank you for watching. Please, thumbs up, like, share, and uh, do whatever you can to bring me to your life. All right? Thank you for watching. David from goldstartool.com. Thank you.